folks, the markets are crashing. They are tanking. They got hit hard. We had a little bit of a reprieve at the end of the day. And this is what I've been warning you about, that we've been topping out around that 20 to 23% up on the S&P 500 that I expected this week or next week to have a top out in the market and then to fall down about 7 to 12% as the last few times the markets ran 20%. That's exactly what happened. And so I'm showing you this because I want you to be prepared. I have been able to absolutely crush this market using the bread recipe. For those who have not joined the course, join the course today. Get over there. Take advantage of the course, the lifetime subscription to the course, lifetime subscription to the course's Discord. It is good. The link down below. I'm having a live stream session, a teaching session this Thursday as well. So if you haven't joined, please do. And some other things. I'll show you how to get a, a lot of other things. But for those who haven't done it, you can join the Stock Mo Patreon down below. The portfolio was interesting today. We had some option plays exploding up because I loaded up on options yesterday, knowing CPI was coming out. But I did, I did the puts. I loaded up on puts because I didn't think that it was going to be good. I knew things could happen. If you hear a sound, a cat is laying in front of me. I got a cat tail. I don't even want to make him growl. Uh, if he growls, he'll get, he's laying right in front of me. So we'll deal with it. It is old meatball. 23 pound, the oldest cat I have. He does what he wants to do. But yeah, you can join there or join the stock squad. We got good things going. The alerts with all the guys. As well as I'm going to show you how to get the free stocks at the end of the video here with... Ooh, check this out, family. With the tracking software. You guys got the tracking software right here. Uh, and you get that for free on Moomoo. And I've been talking about this. But a lot of opportunities there. Now, as we get into it, what was the main news? Well, this is what I wanted to bring up. Check this out. Prices rose more than expected in January as inflation just won't go away. And we looked into this, and I could tell you everything's kind of trending down uh, at this point in terms of inflation, but it's not going away. Two-thirds of the inflation was caused by homes, real estate, that kind of stuff. And the rest, obviously, food was pretty ugly. That was pretty bad. If you looked at the report, it wasn't good. Uh, consumer price index rose 0.3% in January. Is it really, oh, wow, the world's ending? No. And it annualizes at 3.6%. Too high. We don't want it that high. Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the 12-month basis, came out to 3.1%. Down three, from 3.4% in December. Folks, it still continues down. It's just not as much as they thought. Uh, a lot of people were expecting to see in the CPI come down in the 2.9. It didn't. Shelter is what I was trying to say. Shelter prices uh, accounted for much of the rise, about two-thirds of it, just to tell you. Climbing 0.6 on the month. That means homes are getting more expensive. Rents are getting more expensive. And that's what the Fed is going to have trouble breaking, breaking the back of shelter costs. Uh, two-thirds of the headline. There it is. On a month, 12-month basis, it rose 6%. Like real estate investors are loving life. Stocks slid sharply. Because treasury yields surge, that means my TMF got smoked today. And that's what I've been warning. What's the one thing that can hurt you? It is going to be uh, stagflation, where inflation doesn't go away as quick as everybody wants. But remember, it did go down. That real estate's killing it. If you take away the real estate and that stays flat or goes down, we're loving life, it did not happen. And so until real estate gets burned, this is what we're looking at. So some issues out there. Uh, now, look at the market. For those watching my day trades today, we had fun. I was live streaming for over two and a half hours today. Two hours, 45 minutes. Wild. But look, market got crushed today. Uh, I had, look at the Russell down 4.32. Why? Why is that down so much? Because the Russell is, these are the small companies and these small caps. And they're tied to the Fed rate the most. When the Fed start to cut, the Russell will grow the biggest, the fastest, and this is the one you want to be in. But when you're getting crushed today, this is the one that's going to get the big hit. NASDAQ, NASDAQ next because the tech's tied to those, those rates as well. And the VIX absolutely exploding up. I've been waiting for this. It happened today. And the S&P and Dow Jones, I had a bunch of put options. A bunch of put options. Uh, the biggest one I released to my... Uh, people out there was Apple, and I took a lot of profit on this already. I'm down to just a few contracts left. I sold out in here, and it came all the way back down, and now it came back up a little bit. And my opinion is 
that we're going to continue to have more red by the end of this week. So if you said, Mo, do you think Apple will finish above or below 185 on Friday? I think we'll be below 185 on Friday. So I will put this out there, let you know what is happening with that. That was That's some wild stuff. I'll pull up. I'm having a little trouble here, family. I got, like I said, I got an old meatball laying on the, the table. And you don't move a meatball. A meatball is a meatball is a meatball. So for those following the Apple play I talked about, there was one other play I did discuss in the live stream. I already gave this to all the family over at the Patreons, but I've been in this one for a while. This is CCL, Carnival Cruise. I got into the put options on this one a while back as well. They are printing nicely. So good things happening. Good things happening if you, you protect yourself on the portfolio, you're following the bread recipe, which I teach over at the course. It's been, it's been giving me what I need. Now, not everything's been roses. TMF, let's just pull it up, folks. It got smoked today. TMF, when, if you look at what happens when the, uh, the Fed now is going to have to be a little bit more aggressive, that means TMF gets smoked 5% down today, triple leverage. That's what I was afraid of. And then when you come in here and you look at what the Fed's going to do, take a look at this. The Fed watch by the uh, March, night, it's all... Whoo, 8% chance of a Fed cut. It ain't, they ain't cutting rates in March, family. So what's going to happen is the market's going to punish, going to punish the economy, the market, everything. Because now with the Fed staying higher for longer, they are trying to go ahead and cause pain. The Fed needs to cause pain in the stock market. I want everyone to realize this. As the market goes higher, that is a pain in the butt for the Fed. It's not good for the Fed trying to kill inflation. Then you can see in May... It is now only a 36% chance of a rate cut. That was 90-something percent a while back. And now in, in June, it is up to about 75% chance. And that's dropping like a rock. So right now, family, it is not looking good. The economy stays strong. And it, I know everybody in their mind are like, I don't get it, Mo. If the economy is absolutely pumping up, it's strong, it's crushing it. Why is the market dropping? Why did the market drop so much today? If the, if the economy is strong, unemployment at 3.7%, everything's great. Here's the problem. The Fed, as, the, as old meatballs pushing on the, the microphone here, the Fed, I'm going to let this one go as a video. We're going to do it. Uh, we're going to keep it real. We're going to let you see what I go through here. It was like that on the live stream today, too. You guys watch out. You'll get a good laugh. But here's the deal. The Fed needs to break the back of inflation. To break the back of inflation, that can't have the, the stock markets going to new highs. That just, everybody has money. And so until the Fed breaks the back of inflation, breaks the back of, of real estate, housing costs, they're going to be on a rampage. And that rampage means they don't care about the stock market. They need it to come down about 10%. If they can drop this market 10%, watch how inflation drops down in the 2% level that they want. That's going to happen in 2024, in my opinion. I think it's going to get ugly. Do not be surprised if we actually have deflation in a lot of different sectors. The automobiles, used automobiles, we are seeing price drops. You're seeing deflation happen there. We don't have it in housing. That's hurting. Shelter costs are absolutely critical to getting that inflation down to the level they want. The stock market needs to calm down. Uh, and for those who are in, like, I don't want it to calm down. Let that money roll. I know. I get it. We want to see the money being made. But I'm telling you what the Fed wants to see. And I've already read from other uh, central banks around the world, they're having the same issue. As the markets run up, they said, this it's getting too hot. It's hurting us. It's making it harder. we got to stay more aggressive. And so once the markets start to tumble, about 5%, 10%, probably 10% range, then you're going to see the Fed feeling all happy. Oh, things are going right. We feel good. We can cut. But until then, eh, that's what I think we're going to see. So I called this week would be a top most likely, if not this week, next week. I still believe that. We already had to top out, and now we're starting to move down. Over the next 6 to 12 weeks, expect a 7 to 12% pullback from that top. I'm going to be playing put options. I will be looking into put options to protect my TMF as well. We broke some real big levels of support and now the fed's going to have to say more aggressive things which can push that down more so i'm going to be playing that not too far out but for those i'll talk about it on the channel as we go forward now i did tell you i'd show you how to get the free stocks and the tracker here you go check it out free stocks on moomoo 
Put in $100 using my link below. You put it, you get five free stocks. Put in 1,000, you get 15. Look at this, 8.1% APY. Are you kidding me? This is the risk-free stuff. Uh, 5%, 5.1 plus an extra 3% for four, three months, four new users, okay? And then you can set up the bread recipe right here using this. Take advantage of it, family. And this is the software they let you use, the RSI, all of it. It's fantastic. Get over there, links down below, join the course as well. That's all I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.